Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another interesting and challenging algebraic equation. It is x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 equal to x plus 1 over x. I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. Method number one, it is algebra and algebraic identities method and second method would be using binomial expansion. So let us begin with method number one. Denominator cannot be 0, so x cannot be 0. I will multiply both sides with x power 5 as x is non-zero. So if I will multiply with x power 5, equation will become x power 10 plus 1 equal to x power 6 plus x power 4. Now take x power 6 or take all the term to one side. x power 10 minus x power 6 plus 1 minus x power 4 equal to 0. Now we can take x power 6 common. So x power 4 minus 1 from first two terms only. And if I will take minus 1 common, then it will be x power 4 minus 1 once again. So overall x power 4 minus 1 is common. So in second bracket I can write x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. Now using algebra and algebraic identities we can solve both of the equations. So I can write f dot g equal to 0. So x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0 and x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. So let us begin with the first equation. I will write x square whole square minus 1 square equal to 0. Difference of two squares a plus b a minus b. x square plus 1 x square minus 1 equal to 0. And from first equation I will write x square plus 1 equal to 0. Then from this equation I can write x square is equal to i square. From here we will be having x is equal to plus minus i. And from this second equation I can write x square is equal to 1. So x is equal to plus minus 1. So from first equation which we solved that is x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0, there are 4 solutions. 2 are real and 2 are imaginary. You can see plus minus 1 real solution, plus minus i complex solution. Now let us consider second equation x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. So I will write x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. So we can consider x square whole cube as x power 6 minus 1 cube equal to 0. Now difference of two cubes formula a cube minus b cube. So a minus b in second bracket a square plus b square plus a b equal to 0. Again we can consider f dot g equal to 0. So from there we can write x square minus 1 equal to 0 and x power 4 plus x square plus 1 equal to 0. So if x square minus 1 equal to 0, again I will use difference of two squares, x plus 1 times x minus 1 equal to 0. So x will be equal to minus 1 and plus 1. From this equation, I will consider one manipulation, x power 4 plus 2x square plus 1. What I did? I added x square. So I need to take away also x square. Now from first three term it will be x square plus 1 whole square and minus x square equal to 0. Difference of two squares a plus b a minus b. So I will write x plus 1 and second bracket x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Two quadratic equation. So I will consider x square plus x plus 1 and x square minus x plus 1. So in totality if I will write x square plus minus x 
plus 1 equal to 0. So if you will solve this equation using quadratic formula, let me solve x square plus minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Let's solve minus b. So minus plus 1 plus minus under the root b square. So 1 minus 4ac over 2a. So 2. So minus plus 1 plus minus. It is square root of negative 3 which will be i root 3 over 2. So here we are having four complex solutions. Four complex solutions. So if you will see the overall solutions, then let me write here. From the beginning it was x is equal to plus minus i, the complex pair. Then we got plus minus 1 from the same set of equation. Then again we got plus minus 1. And now from here we are having minus plus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. So overall 10 solutions are there. Out of which 4 are real and 6 are imaginary. So 4 real solutions and remaining 6 are imaginary solution. Now let us consider method number 2. It is using binomial expansion. Let me write here method number 2. I will use expansion of x plus 1 over x whole power 5. So I need to know the coefficients also. So let me write here Pascal's triangle for power 5. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 for power 2, power 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, power 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And for power 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So coefficients are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay. Let us write this expansion. So I will consider the first one and last one. All together, I will club 5 and 5 all together. I will club 10 and 10 all together. See what will come out. x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5. First and last coefficient 1 1. Now for coefficient 5 I will write in bracket x power 4 times 1 over x plus x times 1 over x power 4. And one pair of coefficient for 10 it would be x cube times 1 over x square plus x square times 1 over x cube. Now, if I will consider the given equation, the original question, I will write suppose a it is. See what will become. See, it will be a power 5. See, this is again, I will write a plus 5. If you will cancel, then it will be x cube plus 1 over x cube. And in bracket it would be 10 if you will cancel x plus 1 over x which is further a. So what I am getting a power 5 equal to a plus 5 times x cube plus 1 over x cube plus 10 a. So only problem is x cube plus 1 over x cube. So in terms of a, because we know x plus 1 over x is a, consider cubing both sides. So once I will take cube both sides, it will become a cube plus b cube plus 3ab. So 3 times x times 1 over x in bracket x plus 1 over x. And right hand side I will write a cube. Now see x cube plus 1 over x cube plus 3a equal to a cube. So from here I can write x cube plus 1 over x cube equal to a cube minus 3a which I will substitute here. 
So this equation will convert into a power 5 equal to 11a plus 5 times a cube minus 3a. So I will write here a power 5 equal to 5 times a cube minus 3a and 1a plus 10a. So I will write directly 11a. Now I will take all the term to one side a power 5 let me write minus 5a cube and plus 15a minus 11a equal to 0. So I will write a power 5 minus 5a cube plus 4a equal to 0. Now you can see a is common a power 4 minus 5a square plus 4 equal to 0. Now f dot g equal to 0 again. I will write a equal to 0. And remember what is a? This is equal to a. Both sides you can consider it is a. Because this equation we presume that a. Now a power 4 plus 5 minus 5a square plus 4. I will use factorization. So let me write here minus 5a square plus 4 equal to 0. You can use quadratic formula also. e power 4 minus 4a square minus a square. Minus 5 is minus 4 minus 1 plus 4 equal to 0. Take a square common a square minus 4 minus 1 common a square minus 4 equal to 0. Overall common is a square minus 4. So it will be in the second bracket a square minus 1. So from here I can write a square minus 4 equal to 0 and a square minus 1 equal to 0. So ultimately what we are getting a is equal to plus minus 2 and a is equal to plus minus 1. And remember what is our a? a is x plus 1 over x. So there are 5 values plus and minus 2, plus 1 and minus 1 and 0. And a is x plus 1 over x. Let's solve. I will write x plus 1 over x is equal to 0. Then I will be writing x plus 1 over x is equal to plus minus 1. And then we are having x plus 1 over x is equal to plus minus 2. From first equation, I can write, multiply both sides with x. I can write x square plus 1 equal to 0. x square is equal to minus 1 is equal to i square. So x is equal to plus minus i. Second equation, I will consider x square multiply with x plus 1 is equal to plus minus x. So I can write x square minus plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Third equation, x square plus 1 equal to plus minus 2x. So x square minus plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we have to consider both the equations. Now let me write this equation first. Let us apply Sridharachar formula. Minus b, so I will write plus minus 1 plus minus square root b square. So 1 minus 4ac, so 4 over 2a. So I can write plus minus 1 plus minus i root 3. Similar pattern. You are getting same roots. Four complex solutions are here. Two complex solutions are here. Only real solutions are pending. So I will write this one, this equation as, you can see it is one perfect square. x minus plus one whole square equal to zero. So once this is perfect square, we can write it is once it is x minus 1 whole square, then we can write 1 and 1 repetitive roots. And once it is x plus 1 whole square, then minus 1 and minus 1. 
so you can see we can write 1 and minus 1 with multiplicity 2 so over all 10 solutions using binomial expansion method i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck